everyone, I'm Susie. Hi everyone, I'm Sharon. And welcome to the last part of our Holy Week story, because today is Easter Sunday. Sharon, the story today is about a very big surprise, isn't it? It is, Susie. It's a, a huge, massive surprise and leaves people like, oh. I wonder, a bit shocked. Do you like surprises? Are they a good thing? Or do you get shocked by them? Because we're going to discover in our story today that it was a bit of a shock, as well as an incredibly amazing, wonderful surprise. We're going to begin by worshipping God together in the song, There is Hope in the Name of Jesus. There is hope in the mighty name of Jesus. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope in the mighty name of Jesus. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope in the mighty name of Jesus. There is hope. He's my strength. There is hope. the story about this incredible surprise that happened to the women on that first Easter Sunday. So shall we open our Bibles again today and we're going to read from Mark chapter 16 verses 1 to 8. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus's body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb. And they asked each other, who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Sharon, they had a big shock, a big surprise from Jesus that day. 
when they met the angel. They must have told somebody in the end, wasn't they? Because we know all about it today. Hmm. I wonder what it must be like meeting an angel. Have you ever met an angel, Sharon? You know, I think I did once, actually. Really? But it wasn't like a big white person dressed in white. It was just somebody like you and me. Well, in fact, it was somebody dressed in a Tesco uniform. Because I was in Tesco and I wanted something desperately. I wanted a birthday cake for Hayley. And it was specific. I wanted a Dalmatian birthday cake. And I went into the shop and I was looking on the shelves and just thinking to myself, I hope I can find one. And I couldn't see one there. And this man appeared behind me in a Tesco uniform and he said, you're looking for a Dalmatian cake, aren't you? And I said, yes, I am. But I didn't sort of think anything of it at the time. And he said, come with me, come with me. We can order one for you. And uh, he took me to the little till bit and, and put me in order in. And he said, you can come and collect it tomorrow. And then I went to turn around to say thank you to him and he disappeared. And I think it really was an angel. I know it sounds a bit silly, but I think it was. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I wonder if you've met an angel and how what they said to you how you responded these women met an angel and they said Jesus is not here he has been risen and they were so shocked and surprised that they were a little bit frightened because they couldn't quite get their heads around the message that Jesus was no longer dead but he was alive and he is alive today and because he's alive he's still with us now isn't that amazing, Sharon? It is, yeah. I think that's really, really good thing. <laughs> the best bit of Easter, isn't it, that Jesus is with us now? And he's alive. Sharon, what are we doing with our Holy Week box today? So today we are going to open our box and we're going to take out our Jesus figure. We're going to unwrap our Jesus figure from the cloth and put the cloth back in the box and leave it slightly open. And then we're going to put our Jesus figure at the side of our box. There he is, coming out of the grave, alive and well. That must have been amazing. Absolutely amazing. And because Jesus is alive, he's with us today. Shall we say together the Lord's Prayer as we give thanks that Jesus is with us today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Sharon, we've come to the end of our Holy Week journey. We have. We've had a long journey this week. It's been quite interesting. It's made me think quite hard. Been a bit like a roller coaster in some ways as well, hasn't it? A bit up and down. There's been some really exciting things that have happened. Some really sad some things. Sad. And then there was that funny day of Holy Saturday where nothing happened. Yeah. But the most amazing thing about this journey is that it's a true journey. And it's a journey that changes our lives because Jesus is alive and is with us today. We hope you have a very happy Easter and thank you for joining us today for our Easter journey. Bye everyone. Bye.